Welcome to the island of Mocha, an old train town full of rustic, antique, and vintage designs. This island is by the amazing creator Tari, and all of her information, including her Instagram account, Twitter, dream address, and where to find the amazing custom codes used on this island will all be in the description box, so make sure to go give her some love. The islands she makes are out of this world, so good, you will not regret it. I hope y'all enjoy this locomotive-inspired island and if you do, it would mean the world if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I've started live streaming on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and would love to see you there, so come say hi. Okay, enough from me. Let's go ahead and get into this tour. Can we just talk about how cute this outfit is? <laughs> if you dream of this island, which I highly suggest you do, there are a couple of presents left outside of resident services, including this adorable outfit and a couple of props for you to wear. And look at this flag. I love, love a custom flag. The fact that it says the island's name of Mocha, it's blue to match the airport, and there's a little train on it too. It's just way too perfect. Now, before we actually dive in, we have to go through the motions, of course, and look at this map. Oh, wow, that is a ton of terraforming. This had to have taken forever. So, of course, here we have Millie. How cute. I love how Tari always names her residents something different. I think that's always so sweet. And this villager lineup is amazing it's almost like a mix of cottage core and then we have a couple of wild cards that i love too but we have coco we have nan gruff who we don't see too terribly often i think he's one of the wild cards here then we have maple grizzly oh the love of my life Bo. on my last live stream um he gave me his photo and it was an emotional moment. So check out that VOD if you haven't. It was really exciting. And then we have Roswell, Molly, Dobie, and then Ward Jr., which I will have to remember. Okay, his house is in the bottom left because I know uh, the main home is fully decorated and then so is Ward Jr.'s home. So we need to check that out. Also, here's the dream address right on the screen if you want to pause this video, tour along with me. I think that's always so fun whenever I see you guys in the comments saying that you did that. And let's get into it. This looks like a 5 a.m., maybe 6 a.m. Uh, build or island, if you will. Whoa, check out this entrance. Holy cow. So cool. I love how you really, oh, look at Molly. I like how you can't see anything behind it. It really gives the element of surprise in the way that it truly directs you to the left. We're not gonna be able to go to the right side, um, which I like. I like whenever island creators kind of tell me where to go because as you guys know, I get lost if I am um, up to my own, up to my own accord with um, directions. Molly, what are you doing? You cute, sweet baby duck, Molly. I love you. You are perfect. I wonder, let's go ahead and, um. oh, I guess we can't check out the beach. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll go this way. And here is our first cart on these really cool train tracks. Like I said in the intro, all of these custom codes, um, or where to find them rather, are, it's gonna be linked in the description box. So make sure to check out Tari's Instagram highlights. That's where you're gonna find them. This is such a cool entrance. Oh, I love how we even have this little cover right here to serve um in a way like a tunnel it's so industrial and i just love love that feeling and here we are at resident services if you do decide to dream of this amazing island this is where you will wake up and all of those goodies if you want some props or an outfit to wear they'll be right here I think we go to the left first today. I'm just going to do that. And before I go up that beautiful natural incline, let's check out what's down here. I do love too how this island is set in autumn. So that way you really have the complementary colors of yellow and red to really match with like the rust and all of the, the other very, very industrial vintage rustic looking vibes and i love the way that these beaches are decorated to look like ports because of course if it's an old train town there's a lot of importing exporting happening and then of course boats do that too and it looks like we have a lot of fish over here so cool i remember oh my goodness ages and ages ago 
I gave Grizzly, speak of the devil, I know he's on this island, a fishing spot, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. However, it was not. This was early. <laughs> Spoiler, it wasn't. <laughs> this was early uh, in Animal Crossing days when, you know, I thought I knew how to build. I didn't. There's probably a video of it here on YouTube, but then I see builds like this, and they're just so thorough and so beautiful. And just way better fishing ports than I could have ever imagined at that time. And it uh, it takes me back. It humbles me. And I love it. So cool. I love how this is all segmented. <gasps> Look at the broken glass custom coat on the simple panels over there. That is so cool. All right, let's go up. Let's go up this incline, shall we? We shall. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. He knew his ears were burning. Grizzly, I was just talking about you. I think you are such a handsome sweet bear. Oh, how cool is this? And now we really have all of these carts with the gold. We must be close to like a mining area of sorts. Wow, I love how these simple panels really complement the storefront right here. <gasps> how neat is this? Look at this view, you guys. And then the fact that you have that little bit of motion in the background with the gears. That looks really, really great. So cool. The combination of the castle or medieval wall, castle wall, medieval wall. It's turned backwards, but that way it's kind of flush up against the storefront. Looks really, really neat. Kind of gives it a little bit of asymmetry, which I think is so cool. Also, I'm just realizing this path, this little stone path is one that I use. That's so funny. Just goes to show how you can use custom designs on different islands that have totally different themes and aesthetics, but you can still make it work for whatever you're going for. This is so cool. I kind of like how these houses are almost set on a little, feels like an archipelago of sorts. Whose house is this? Is this Ward Jr.? Molly, Molly, your house is cool. Oh, I love it. Look how red the trees are too. It just gives it that beautiful contrast. And the little dropped gold, of course. <laughs> A great diagonal bridge moment, I think. Is this his house? It, I said it was on the bottom left, didn't I? Wart Jr., are you home? Oh no, this is Roswell. Another great exterior. I think it's important to point out too, and really maybe this is just for my own, my own sake, because I stress out about decorating villager yards so much, <laughs> but what a great example on how you really don't need to fill every single space as long as you have enough custom pathing and a couple of items that really enhance the look and feel you're going for. Like we have some bushes, we have some trees, we have some vines and a couple of those rusted barrels, but that's really all you need to give them a proper, a proper space. And more fishing. Oh, great. Look, we have Nook's Cranny and it's baby Nook's. I love that. Yeah, this must be like a 5 or 6 a.m. Uh, time because of the sky. I recognize this beautiful color in the sky. Can I sit on this stump? <gasps> Maybe not. It's so funny. I rarely, rarely see the stumps of palm trees on tours, but I love that. And this is cool, too. Just the little conveyor belt, making sure all the fish and stuff gets on the boat so it can be sent to the train. Oh wait, there's, uh, oh, what did she name her? Her rep, Millie? Millie, where are you? Oh, hello. Mining my own business. But um, <laughs> Amazing. Oh no, is Ward Jr. not home? I'm gonna be so sad. I believe this is his house. Oh, dang, okay, well. I do know that if you dream of this island, it is possible he will be home for you. So if you wanna see what that interior looks like, please, by all means, check it out and then comment, comment in the comment section and tell me what it looks like. Or maybe I'll just have to revisit another time. Gosh, these beaches are 
great. They're so thoughtful. And they really work with the whole rest of the island. I'm obsessed. Okay, where to go next? Do we go? Um, let's go back this way. Let's go back this way and up. Up the incline. Back through here. Because I think there was another incline. Grizzly. Adorable, adorable teddy bear. Up here. Whoa, how cool. This is a trend. Um, I'm sure it is not new, but for me, I feel like I've just been seeing it more and more frequently. Where at the top of inclines, people create these very grandose, beautiful entrances and transition areas. I think it's so cool. It's a great way to kind of segment different parts of your island, especially if you are transitioning from like a very rustic area to like a more polished, elegant area or whatever, whatever the, the theme change could be. But I absolutely love that concept. How pretty. Oh, this is all gorgeous. And I love this iron would this be is this considered corrugated iron oh man but i love it look at all these gears you know what i bet this island looks really cool in the snow too or maybe i'm just associating this with the polar express probably oh my gosh here's the actual train <laughs> oh how cool so of course, uh, the stove or uh, wood burning oven right here is being used as the front of the train. And then there's little seats. Oh, how cool. Y'all, this is neat. So you can actually ride one of the trains. How brilliant. And so many great items too now produce steam or a steam effect. So you do get that full, full feeling like you're on an old train. And more gorgeous villager homes too. What's back this way? You know what I realized? And maybe this is just, I don't know, I don't know. The only trains I have ever been on are like light rails, um, you know, the trains here in LA, you know, obviously I've been on like a subway, that kind of stuff, but I've never been on like an old choo-choo, <laughs> an old choo-choo train. I don't think, at least to my knowledge, I have not. Man, this is so pretty. And you can also get a glimpse of the beach down there. I love, love how the beaches are full of boats and different fishing docks and stations. And then on actually the land areas, you have all of these really cool trains and different stations. Like, look at this one up here. I bet we can get a better view of it. Even that on the right hand side. How cool is that? I love the items that move in this game, whether it be the gears, even the steam coming out of those rusted barrels. I think it gives so much life to islands, especially if that's your forte is just decorating islands. Then yeah, I'm a huge fan of all of that movement. It's down this way. We have not explored back here. Is this the secret beach? Are we going to another fishing port maybe, perchance? Oh, we have to hop. Wee. Oh, cool. I love the way that all of these caves are positioned right here. That's so creative too. I mean, I definitely struggle with what to do if I have a dead end or a space where I'm not sure if it's leading anywhere. Oops. But it's a good reminder that those caves are kind of a perfect item to put in those areas because they have that iridescent glow in the middle of them and it really gives the illusion 
you know, like things are continuing beyond the dead end. And here we are at Abel Sisters, love. You know what, I particularly love this because Abel Sisters hasn't been like totally transformed by the castle walls or the storefronts like we see from time to time on particular islands, but rather just with the combination of a few of these rusted items placed very strategically, it makes it work so well. And it doesn't hurt too that Abel Sisters is already kind of that reddish color, which is so well incorporated all throughout this whole island. Now, where do we go from here? Let's go up this way. Whoa, look at these tracks. How cool is this? Oh, and this is the incline that brings us back to resident services. Look at that. Oh my goodness, amazing. Well, in that case, Let's go back up and then keep exploring that way because I know from the airport we can't go to the right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's explore the right side over here. We have some dropped iron. <laughs> Such great details. Like the little nuggets <laughs> hiding everywhere. Oh, another train. <gasps> another train. So fun. Have you guys seen those TikToks of... <laughs> I'm sure there's more than one, but I've definitely seen one of that one guy. He just loves trains like that is he just loves them. That's his thing. He's just he's a train fan. In the massage chair. This item, I was so confused as to what it was for the longest time. I was like, what is this torture device? It's an old timey massage chair. It's hilarious. Whoa, and this one goes here. Oh, there's another incline this way? What? This is the island that just keeps going. Oh. Oh, wait, what? I see a Mario pipe. Where? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, this train falls into a pit? <laughs> Where does the pit go? Okay, we will, we have to find out. Where does... <gasps> wait, no, I'm trying to jump in it. No, not over it. I'm trying to go in the pit. There we go. Where is it going to take us? Oh my gosh! Wait, where did it bring us? Where are we? Wait, I have to look on the map. Where did it take us? This is so cool. Oh, now we're in the bottom right. Cool! So this is how you access that area. Man, people are so creative. Oh, I see. And then we have this whole beach down here. And this is the whole camp area. And I'll, I'll show you the campsite in a second. You probably already saw it in the back corner. But whoa, this is so neat. This is kind of like a the camp spot for maybe those who are working in the mines. Oh, this is so neat. I'll tell you what, when those Mario pipes were first introduced, it was so cool and I remember thinking like, wow, this is going to be so easy to just go back to your home to get items because at the time the storage sheds didn't exist. However, since this game has evolved with the 2.0 update, it has been so cool seeing the creativity that comes from these Mario pipes. Like what an amazing idea to have that go into the campsite area. So cool. And it's a great way too if you do want to intentionally block off certain areas, but you still want people to somehow access them. Mario pipe. It's great. That's so cool. I'm so glad we saw that. I'm also loving these bridges. I feel like I don't use this style of bridge enough. I always, <laughs> I'm a creature of habit. I always use the dark brown wood Zen bridge, always. Oh, and here's the main house. Okay, well, we have to go in. Get all of the gold. Ooh, and then of course we have, is that the amber? Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Oh, this is neat. Look at how 
this little bridge goes over here, but then the rest of the water is all custom code. Love this exterior. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess we're gonna be seeing a decent amount of gold on the inside. We shall find out. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I had a feeling, and yet I'm still blown away. This is so cool. We are actually in the mines. Also, what is this seat? What is this seat over here? It looks perfect. Wow. This is so well decorated. Of course, the train tracks come all the way into the home itself. There's tons of gold. I love how some of the lights are on and some of the lights are off. What an amazing, amazing detail. Ooh, it's so eerie and yet so beautiful too. Where do we go first? Okay, let's go to the left first. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, how cool. And now we actually have the bedroom. Look at the landfill in the back. That's so cool. Wow. It just feels so old and like dusty and so beautiful. I love the sloppy bed. Oh my goodness. It's such a good bed. And the old TV. This is an amazing room. Even like the spider webs on the wall. Ugh, gosh, so good. So good. Well, now I'm curious what the other one, two, three, four rooms are. I guess we'll find out. I was part anticipating that Mario pipe to take us into the house, but I'm so glad it didn't. I'm so glad it took us somewhere else outside. <gasps> what? Well, this is a wild card. Never would I have guessed this gorgeous garden room would be in here. This is beautiful. But you still have the feeling that we're in some kind of mine or a cave because of the wallpaper. This is beautiful. Um, yes, please. I'll take one of everything. Thank you. I really do love it. This is so sweet. Definitely not what I expected, but I am... Very obsessed with it. Has anyone ever made, oh, maybe this is something I should just try. Um, kind of like a room like that, but instead like crystals and I guess there's only a, a couple amount of in-game items you could really, really use to achieve that, but like a crystal room or like a Himalayan salt room, that'd be cool. Whoa, oh my gosh, what? How cool is this little storage slash potentially kitchen area too? Because we do have the bottles and the cans and the shelf over there with what I imagine to be like condiments and sauces and stuff on it. This is so good. I love how it's just overgrown and messy. And fluorescent too, like the lights are so bright. Such a cool vibe. And the vine just casually growing through the whole building. <laughs> you got to. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, there is a basement. Okay, we'll do upstairs first and then we'll do downstairs. Whoa, whoa! Are you kidding? Oh. My goodness, hold on. Let me get a very specific view here with the camera. Because this is, we are in the train. We are in the train. Oh my gosh, I forgot this wallpaper even existed. How cool. Whoa. <gasps> Y'all, this is wild. It's clearly like a storage train, but also, you know, it has seats, of course, for passengers. This is so neat. <gasps> oh, people are so good at this game. Wow. This really is so cool. I could stay here forever. 
Wow. No, I don't, I hate ruining the illusion by even like panning, but I do want to see the rest of this room. It is just so creative. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Tari, my girl. Oof. Definitely my favorite room, but we haven't seen the basement yet. So I might be eating my words in about five seconds, but it's just so impressive. So consistently beautiful. <gasps> cool. Oh my gosh. So this is where a lot of the gold magic happens. Whoa. Look at that custom design too in the back to really, really add so many layers with those pipes. Oh, we have the little arm, the robotic arm, making and manufacturing everything. The gold bricks on the conveyor belt too. What a great detail. Wow. And then of course, everything's being loaded from the train into this amazing factory. This is so cool. What an incredible house. And again, the consistency is just outstanding. Seriously, from everywhere we've looked so far, the interior of the home, it's bonkers beautiful. And the theme is just like, it really is unmatched. And it doesn't hurt too that it's incredibly like cozy in many ways. You know, it feels very autonomous. All right, let's go. Think back here. We've not seen back this way. Oh, it's the museum. Oh my God, whoa, what a grand entrance too. <gasps> wow, this is neat. This, I mean, it reminds me of just the oldest train station too. Of course, these seats are just too perfect. Love this concept for a museum, it's so creative. Well, you guys, I am, I'm blown away. I'm sure you are as well. <laughs> you please need to check out this island because, oh my goodness, it's A, stunning, but also I want to know what's in Wart Jr.'s house. So please go visit and let me know in the comments if uh, Wart Jr. was in his home whenever you visited because I'm so curious as to what it is. If it's anything like the interior of the main house, I'm already blown away. <laughs> Tari, thank you so much for letting me tour another one of your amazing islands. Everything you make is beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you can catch me on a live stream on Wednesdays. Would love to see you there. And yeah, I just, I hope y'all are having an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in this big old beautiful world. I hope it's a good one. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.